generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Previously in Prison Architect we were once again finishing off construction on the left here. We got a couple more items in the workshop and put all the foundation down for the low risk which is what we'll be finishing off in this episode. So let's, without any further delay, let's look at that. So this is, as I said, going to be our low risk area. So the idea is prisoners will transfer from, for some reason that's not staff only and that's not staff only and that's really weird. Um, yeah. Anyway, this is set to low risk, and the idea is that prisoners will transfer from the Max Sec Island and then go over to here, and then either be in medium, most likely, and then perhaps even transfer over to then the low risk, which will potentially have more stuff in it. Either way, speaking of that, let's go over to our rooms here and then cells. We'll designate all of that as cell and then start to place some objects in it. Now, we're following similar patterns to what we've seen on the other side side so we're basically going to mirror this around there and have similar sort of things in this room so we're going to have at minimum we'll have the radios we'll have the um the bookshelves oh incidentally we had a couple of fights around here and i think that may be because of the radios we had a an event there i just want to touch on that because I know people did mention it. Anyway, back to over here. So we'll have probably some TVs in, but I'm not entirely sure where the TV is going to go, although perhaps straight ahead is uh, maybe okay for it. Um, no, maybe not. Let's instead go for radio. The radio will go right next to the bed. So again, it's similar to what we've seen over there. We'll also have to have a toilet and a basin and then obviously a shower as well. So we'll check out the shower. So the shower head will go in here. We'll have, actually I'm going to place the shower head. Yeah, the shower head will go there. I'm going to place a chair next to it like so. Up above that we will have a, where is it, toilet which goes in there. And then finally we also want a sink and a mirror. Uh, also, do you want a soft pillow? Do these have soft pillows? They do not have soft pillows. So we will probably place a soft pillow eventually, although... We'll see what else we can put in here. There's a sink and mirror which will be placed in like that. And then we're now thinking about extra items to increase the grading of this. So we know that a TV will increase the grading. So a TV may be in that corner there. We also can have, where is it? Well, a drain will need to be placed in, so we'll do that. And also you've got things like bird cages and desks or like an office desk with a computer would also increase the grading there so maybe if I remove that chair it would be better uh, better situated there so let's see how we get on with that one going to put it to max speed and let them crack on with this one in terms of our workers we have got rid of some workers so obviously not uh, um, you know not a huge not a huge amount to build on that one. Also, you may have also noticed we've got a bit more money. Quite frankly, I analysed the situation and realised that basically it would take us about another three or four episodes of just waiting for cash in order to be able to build this. And I decided to overcome that hurdle by giving us a little bit of money. Uh, yes, cheating, um, <laughs> admittedly. Uh, we have obviously sold shares previously and... Um, done things with the uh, bank balance and we have had that bug at the start of the game where we had that sort of lock up and such but it is what it is um we could easily get the money it's just a case of sitting and waiting and i didn't think that would be a great experience so we are sort of skipping through that let's go over and go to walls and doors and then doors and place a standard jail door in the front there and that will have this then as a grade and obviously we need to check that out so we can see over on logistics and the grading hang on is it in here room quality this is set to a grade of 12 whereas the ones over here are set to a grade of 10 so once this is plumbed in when it says shower head, that'll be an extra increase. And we'll also have... Oh, is that about it? I think that will be about it. So we want to place a pillow. So we'll zoom right in and go to the bottom here. I'll place a soft pillow in there. And then we also, if we wanted to, we could place a canvas so, or on a pet bird. So we could place, like, say, I don't know, a pet bird in not there wouldn't really fit in anywhere i wouldn't like it there and canvas if we place it right next to the shower it's probably going to be washed away uh, or something like that so we'll place a canvas up the top there and that technically fits in but it's a it's a little bit cramped there what i might do is move this tv 
there, move this further down. Yeah, I'll move that office desk just a little bit further along and put the canvas next to it. That is, I think, a, a little bit better. So then the TV's right in front of their bed. So that'll work out. And then obviously we're going to clone this and just clone it right up to the top. And then we know that all that is graded, which is exactly what we need. Even though after all of this, it's obviously still taking quite a while to build and obviously costs us a fair amount of money. There's not there's a lot of expensive things around here. You can see that has been ordered for a move there, but we're just still waiting for them to crack on with it. We have got the Reform Through Education initiative still on the go, but obviously it's taking some time. Let me move these down to the left there, and then finally we'll place in the canvas there, and that should be a nice grading. We'll double check that grading in a moment once everything is placed, but basically it's going to be a clone and then go up. Actually, I think we'll also place some flooring in there which I believe was a nice brown carpet sorry rephrase that a carpet <laughs> not nice just a carpet and apparently they can't get access to that hmm well this should be sorted but we have to acknowledge that the room quality is currently 14 but it will become 15 once it's connected up yeah that is that is correct Right, so that's getting built. I'll wait for the rest of the flooring to be placed, followed by that section there. And that means then basically a quick build and a clone. So we'll clone all of that and then we'll just build it along like there. So one bit there and then continue up. Each one of these, it says for uh, 2,450 generic units of currency. I believe it's going to be a bit more than that. But let's see how we get on. So one, two, three four five and it's not buying everything just yet so i'm waiting for it to do that because obviously we may see some issues with the items just waiting for it to build and weirdly it's demolishing some of the bits of walls to then put them back in and then <laughs> and then place in the window which is curious shall we say and there you go so that's pretty good so no bank loan because we've got rid of that but it's going to take quite a while for this to be done just want to double check the deployment and yes as you can see it has uh, changed because of the problems with the wall and such but we'll alter that later on we are getting loads of money back for like the sinks and such and I think that's like a don't know, it's, it tends to do that. There you go, look, there's money back from some of this. And I bet we have loads of it sitting here then. Uh, got loads of lights and a guard pavilion somewhere. I think we got, I think we got rid of a guard pavilion. We did do a bit of a pass in here to get rid... Oh, that's a light. To get rid of a lot of these things. And we just dumped a lot of the items because they were just no good for us. There was no reason for us to far as to uh, keep them and some of them like say like this thing here we can get rid of there we go I've ordered a lot of that but overall the prison seems to be running fairly okay fairly well it's not in any great difficulty at the moment we do have the odd fight but it also seems to function quite well I'm gonna check our transfers and we can see that we have two prisoners available for transfer. So I will transfer two prisoners from our our max sec here. I'm also going to do the same thing for this one. Who we have two prisoners available to go straight from max sec, and they'll actually go down if I approve that to maximum security. And then if we check maximum security. <laughs> We can then approve those as well. So we've had them going from maximum security down to here. So we're skipping them over. That is a problem with our transfer. And normally I wouldn't actually do that. But the reason I did is because I noticed on the top left here that we had one maximum security, one death row and one legendary prisoner. So I knew that we were going to get a legendary prisoner. Now transferring them from here to here would fill those up, which means we wouldn't get that legendary prisoner, which mainly meant that we wouldn't have got the 15 grand that it gives you. So I'd rather... <laughs> <laughs> do that transfer, albeit a bit of a strange transfer, and get these people moved over. 
in order to then get that money because, well, we need it. In terms of our prisoner uh, guard morale, should I say, the morale is at 60%, so double what it was previously. They're still not paid enough, but we are trying to resolve that. Uh, let me just double check this because, ah yes, you can see we're getting two maximum security, which are going to be placed over here, so we don't want that. So I may have to turn off our intake because this isn't built yet, and we've got holes in the wall. It means that not only will prisoners be able to run out, not that there's many places to go, I'll have to sort things as well. Looks like we have a janitor that's been murdered by a prisoner here. Yeah. Let me go ahead and hire another janitor. Obviously janitors not just cleaning, but also doing the also doing the laundry as well over here. You can see the laundry stuff actuating. Just realised it's actually slightly offset that. You can see the edge bit there. Literally unplayable. Right, back over to here. How are we getting on with building? The answer to that is not very well at all. Um, we can't alter deployment until these are built, which is a shame. So I may have to turn off our arrivals. Oh no. I think it is actually set. Because it says we're going to get three maximum security and that is our that is our prisoner um, capacity there. Two maximum security and one legendary prisoner. The legendary prisoner also being maximum security but we'll we'll transfer them straight away to supermax because that's just what we're going to do and there is the arrival so we've got a face in game there we've got the chief and wolverine legendary extremely strong tough volatile stalker deadly yeah all those traits super max but got us a nice bit of cash so that's, you know, we've got that going for us, which is nice. Quick build of cloning. And there we go. That's the remaining remaining ones of those. I'd like to hire some more workers. I'll hire four more. Admittedly, we will almost certainly get rid of a lot of these once we're finished building, but we'll we'll see how we get on. It's very difficult to understand like what is actually built around here. Wardens want to chat. Received word that the prisoners are unhappy with how much time they're able to work. Ah, that's going to screw everything up. So, we need to reduce this to two hours a day. So, basically, our... Ah, this is really annoying. Okay, regime then. What we'll do is basically turn all of that to free time. And that will mean that they are not kicking off. But I'm not going to reschedule all the programs. Because as soon as I do that, we'll have an issue and we'll have to redo it. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, I just saw this. Both prisoners here, Adam Evans and Scott Conley, were fighting in the ring. And this guy just received a massive left hook and has been knocked unconscious in the boxing ring. So, yeah, that can happen. I was about to build some more stuff in the workshop, but quite frankly, what's the point? We don't have the people working in here anyway. Let me just double check our room quality, uh, not room quality, uh, prison labour. We have four people that are able to work there in 21 jobs. So there's no point in building this. There's just no point. I was going to build this for the sake of completion, but there's no issue. There's no point in building this. It's just, you know, a waste of time building this section. What I could do if I wanted is split this in half and have these you've got all these doors here where we have the solitary. The solitary is on the corners there and it just it doesn't really like sit right with me. It's always been a bit of a hack. So maybe we finish this side and then what we'll do is put a say a wall down the centre here and then have solitary cells in either side here and get rid of these. I think that's probably what we'll do because that'll finish it off quite nicely. And that, uh, as I say, sits a, a little bit better with me. We have another death row inmate. We have Stephen Donnelly and Aston 
Love Grove, and you can see one of them's actually on ten percent, which is strange because the state approved conviction strength is ten percent. So maybe you have to be under that. How many times have they passed? Oh, sorry, they've failed rather two times the death row appeal. Twice they've failed that. Okay. So, 82 maximum security prisoners out of 84, 13 medium out of 18 maximum, soup max is 24 out of 28. So, we can get some more prisoners if we wanted to. Let's go over to our informants here, and I'm just going to have a quick look around, just seeing if there's any people that... What's going on here? Is that who I think it is? No. Alex Sexton has kicked off and assaulted a guard, and that didn't work out too well for them. If their intention, assume, well, assuming their intention was not to be hit by a shotgun, if their intention was to be, you know, shot, then I guess that worked out quite well for them. But there you are. So the education course is on the way. Not going to happen. Good grief, what's going on here? I'll grab a shotgun again. I'm going to intake some supermax. Just because we don't want that daily cash flow in the negative. You can see just how long it takes to build all of this. It really takes forever in, a, forever in a day. A long, long time to get that done. We have workers coming in. And since we started the episode, one, two, three, four cells have been completed out of the rest of them. There's five. They'll, they'll get there eventually. But it just does take some time. There is our intake. We'll double check here. We have extremely volatile and an instigator there. And a couple of unknown traits. We haven't really taken a look at our guys around here. So this is Duncan Taylor. Actually requiring solitary. And they can't have access to solitary. I'll end that. And Ellis over here. Ellis has still got... He's, he hasn't even served half his sentence yet. And Duncan, 8.2 years of 90. 97% chance of reoffending, and Ellis is on 68. So even if they had parole, they'll never make parole anyway. So there's no, <laughs> there's no point in me opening up parole for them. There is some more deaths there. Murdered by prisoner. Oh, is that Wolven? It is Wolven, and they're currently damaging the PA system. Well, we if they damage that, we can't even tell them to stop. So let's, let's uh, yeah, I'm going to say we'll do a manual override on that, and that's now dealt with. We'll have to fix the speaker, but it won't take long. This is getting built quite nicely. I'm happy with that. Only one, two, three, four, five to go, which is what we'll do. And I think, as I said, I'm going to alter these. Can I go to doors and ah, there's a demolish walls? But dismantle, I'm going to have to check it myself. So what I'm doing here is removing the doors for solitary. And I'm going to do the same for here. And because of the removal, we could actually fit in two more. We could actually fit in two more tables in the uh, one more table in there, or two more, if we put small ones in. Do we have a small table spare? We have a standard table, so I can move them along, and I'll do that. And strangely, you may be noticing that. All of this that I'm ordering, the guards are they're, they're coming along and went, yep, yeah, I can sort that out, no problem. Uh, and they're doing it straight away. <laughs> okay, so the flooring we will put in around here. The rooms we will remove from there. And the entrance to what is going to become our new solitary um, place will go probably in here. I think we'll go with... A large jail door, simply because we have them. Put a large jail door in there as well. Radiators will go in as well. So what I'm going to do is sort of mouse over 
here where the radiator is on the other side then place it and basically follow that along now I don't know what state we'll be in when it comes to the heating of this side I'm hoping we don't have to build another boiler here but I have a feeling that may be the case we'll see how we get on that has now been sorted so I'm going to double check our deployment and it is actually set correctly so we'll go for custom sector and it'll be sector as shown there for this area let me check let's assume we're gonna have a wall there the reason is yes it's off to one side but remember this side has more prisoners so each of these is going to require well do you want to have it three large like that um, whichever way we're doing it it's probably gonna be off to one side although we could do that the problem being that well we're going to get around I mean that would work there's our solitary there okay and similar for this side although hmm do we just make two along it doesn't need to be three does it and we get more in this way like that and then your entrance is well wherever it happens to be which will be that then this side I think we'll do that yeah so uh, similar sort of deal and like that fits in that's what we're doing okay wall rusty straight across let's just place all these walls in it shouldn't take long mainly because stuff is built very quickly because they basically teleport the stuff in <laughs> um, they do a bit of a cheat there you go and those should be in which they Almost are just ready for the, ready for the rest of it, right? Piping. Then we will have a large pipe. We're gonna have to run a large pipe here, aren't we? And I also fear that we do need a water boiler because this water boiler here is powering all of these radiators. The one down here is getting to there but these ones are going to be probably just too far out so we're going to place a water boiler in a building probably further south because we do have a water boiler here enough to get these ones so foundations more wall rusty and I guess it'll have to go there because we've got this window and we will put in a door staff door because I believe the other one has a staff door yes it does and we'll get that sorted deployment however is set up this one once it's got that built we now have two rooms min and then medium and it's just a case of setting the rest up we'll probably put toilets in there we'll have to see how we get on I'll just designate the rooms because we can. There's the room set. It looks like it should connect up, but it's specifically designed not to. So there's our set. And we'll need to run the pipe, the large pipe, which will come probably across here, down, and then... that way and then in to this where we should be able to place a water boiler electrical cable naturally we'll have to run into that as well so we'll see how we get on with that 
we have to set that to staff only. Oh, we can't set it to staff only. Set these correctly as well. Set to solitary. Go to doors. Secure doors. Which I don't know what the correct orientation is. So I'm going to assume that it's that. And if it isn't, then, well, well, then it isn't. I don't think we're going to lose too much sleep over it. Looks like Stephen Donnelly has failed for the third time their death row appeal. Just note as well that people are using these prayer mats, so we're probably having more needs fulfilled over in this corner, which is good. Turning off our soup max intake. Also, should probably check out here as well. We do have a couple of traits that we are not aware of. So I'll activate Dan. Let's see how we get on there. And eventually, I'm guessing that prisoners can start to go on the left. But I'm just waiting for them to crack on and build the rest of it. I think I'll also place some door servos here and here. Because it's just been a bit of a nightmare. So that's requiring water. It's not yet connected up either via power. Well, it says it is. I think it is powered. I think it's just not got water. Pretty confident it's powered. Just need to place the rest of it, obviously. And also, we haven't got any lights in the cells, which we should probably fix. Place it right above the TV. Actually, no, right above there. Because then it's in a similar place to the one outside. Not that we're really too bothered. It's also just right in the middle of the cell, which makes perfect sense for correct illumination. So, Stephen over here, we can go through that process of death row again. Which, ooh... Looks like Necromunda's kicked off again, and also Tom Ellison has been fighting too. Okay. Stephen. Donnie. Authorise the lockdown. Test the facility. All complete. Assemble the execution detail, which is... It says complete, because it's coming in via helicopter. Having that with the visitors on is definitely improved. Improved that. There you go. So, we've got all the witnesses... We've got, looks to be their um, council as well. And also food's getting delivered. And then it drops it empty because we've seen how that happens before. And there you go. And we'll escort the prisoner to the facility. Which, what happens is, when I open this door, they'll then run up and out. Because they're having to actually, they're having to meet up with the warden. So, not only is Donnelly running down <laughs> onto the ferry dock. Oh, they're now running back up again. Yeah. They're, they're trying to get... See, they're going back and forward. They don't know where to go. Because they're having to meet up with the warden. And the warden is almost certainly waiting... Yeah, waiting on the other side of the ferry dock. So the game's trying to get them across to that, which is just... Yeah, it is what it is. Can this move yet? Yep, there we go. It's moving. And the chief and the execution witness is waiting there. And now you can see the warden is moving up with Donnelly. Donnelly not only is naked in the dark and on a ferry. I mean, that's an expensive cocktail party, to be fair. But not around here. It's uh, something you probably wouldn't pay for. It's part in 2 one, zero, And it's left the prisoner there. Cancel. Just cancel. <laughs> I can't be bothered to deal with it, quite frankly. Enough's enough. We'll have a look at that later on. Right, how's stuff going over here? Uh, they've almost finished building the pipe work. Um, it looks to me that the connections are not in here and here, so we will do that. And that should automate that one. This is still still waiting for the pipe work. And this... Oh, and also... Yeah, DOS servers are going to have to go there and... Ah, because of the orientation, I'm going to have to place that one where it is here. Yeah. Focus on that. Open the large jail door. 
I mean, this one is automated. They could have gone that way, but apparently that's not going to happen. Still focusing on the pipe. At least it's getting cleaned, which is, which is good. I wonder where our prisoner is. The back in the back in their cell. Okay, they have several needs, which you would expect. Prison morale um, is good. Staff morale at fifty-five and fluctuating. Still waiting for building of some of these things. There's the giant there who's brought in some nice clean uniforms to deliver. Although in throughout the series we've had issues with with some of these. And there's the warden calling. Prisoners settled down about work hours. Good. Okay. So we can change our regime back to the work slash darn it. Back to the work slash free time. Everybody has the same regime which I know people have commented on saying why have we got the same regime throughout the throughout the prison. Um, there's no particular reason. We just have run it like that. We are uh, not in any great hurry to change the uh, the regime individually for people. Just something that we didn't do. So this is actually, I was going to say we'll have to put some flooring in up the top there for our newly built area but actually it is actually set to, it's set to what we want so that's good. There should be a walkway around here for access to the access to that to be fair we should probably run it up and around as well just for the sake of completeness so we'll do that I don't think we've done it on other ones but there you go we've done it on this one yeah it doesn't run all the way around here this is just a section that is like staff only because it has to be but there you go so it runs around uh, just for sake of completeness that we've done that. This one we don't need to because we've already got access there. And we could build it around here but that's just a lot of, a lot of building there. Speaking of building, a bit more to do particularly when it comes to pipe work. I think that should suffice. The water will be heated um couple of places so we'll need to run that across and down to there and then across and not going to go any further this one's going to go up and down to hmm I don't know if that'll reach I'll try but I have a feeling it's going to be just off but there's all of the connections in anyway at least there's been some attempt to make that. So let's have a quick look then. Now that these are in, we may see in the transfers... No, no prisoners are motivated uh, to move over to here. So what I could do, because I'm going to check, I'm guessing it's lower. Yeah, the min sec grading is lower in the high sec and the reason for that is it's not got hot showers as soon as it get hot showers it will be at 190 as opposed to medium security what we could also do is change it so the gymnasium is say min sec only which I don't think is unreasonable so we'll set that going and I'll going to guesstimate now that we will have yes the grading is very different so yes look at that three prisoners qualify so we're going to bring some max sec down to medium medium down to minimum and there we go we have our first minimum security prisoners good so they have a want and a desire to move to the gymnasium and obviously it's harder for them to do that because of our transfer stuff. So we need to meet all seven criteria, which includes one program to be passed. Whereas these two, um, we're not having supermax to max sec in general. We only do that when we need to. So yeah, it's good that we have that transfer working. There is another big fight. And... They are, oh, that guy's got a shotgun. Lee has a shotgun there. 
and none of the guards seem to be really keen on... They were focusing on cuffing people. I'm surprised there was only three deaths there. Wow. Uh, okay, intake. Let's uh, intake some more Supermax. Because why not? Finishing off this side then. This is set. Let's go to deployment. Patrols. And we're going to alter this patrol again. <laughs> to that. And while we're at it, we'll put in the patrol for this side. Which will be one guard either side and one dog handler either side. And also concrete tiles across there. Good. Haven't put any toilets in here. Quite frankly, don't think I'm going to bother now. We have another prisoner who has passed the foundation education course, I'm happy to say. Which is good. So two more and we'll have that um, almost done because then we need to do the general education course. We'll check out all the programs. We can see that there is no desire for any of the prisoners to go and do the general education. But there is a carpentry apprenticeship uh, person. So I'm going to start that. <laughs> and yeah, you can see that actually the daily cash flow is really on the edge now. So we'll see. But, as we've mentioned previously, some of these staff will be, will be sadly, uh, getting rid of them once the, once the prison is built. There we go, there we go. there's our f first couple of low-risk inmates. So they have better room quality. This room quality on the right-hand side is 10. These are 13, but will become a... Well, it will become... 14 once we get that shower head in because at the moment it's just got no no water connections at all because they haven't yet built it they've built a lot of it just not all of it and quite frankly the bit that they need to do is is actually the crucial part but i mean we you know we're not gonna because <laughs> say we're not gonna micromanage this we might micromanage this let's uh prioritize the building of that shall we i would rather they put the pipe work in because prisoners will rightly so be complaining about the lack of water and heating. It's currently 16 degrees C though. It is a sunny uh, summer's evening. Well, I don't think it's very sunny. It's half 11 at night, but you get the idea. And what else is there to build? I'm going to receive a maximum security in five supermax, which is fine. I guess the only thing to build is the saws and presses. There's the saws. And we can't get all the presses. But we will get there. Any transfers? One transfers. Which we'll approve. So what's the desire to transfer? The desire is... A one prisoner is motivated to qualify, which is 11%. Whereas 30% on the maximum security and 16% for these ones. But none of them are qualifying for that one. And as you can see, daily cash flow is altered somewhat. Because transferring them the risk down makes it worse. Looks like we have cold water going down here. Not far enough though. Which means almost certainly that the hot water will also not reach that far. It shouldn't be a massive issue. But I don't know what the solution would be. The the quick fix for this bit is to do that. Because <laughs> there's no maximum distance on the large pipe. And that'll fix the water down there. But the hot water, not so much. Now I'm wondering why the hot water hasn't been built. Look, there's this a couple of bits that just haven't been done. Curious. Curious. Let us reduce the intake on Supermax. There's a bit of a fight going on over there. Yeah. And we also have our inmates, the new ones, which may have traits. There's a legendary prisoner there. But I don't have the capacity to move them over. So I'll have to leave that for now. 
And there is a legendary prisoner. We have a low risk legendary prisoner. <laughs> but they have went through the whole process of transferring. So that's all legitimate, I guess. Oh, looks like the radiator is connected. It must be just on the fringe of being connected, these bits. One or two more, and it probably wouldn't be wouldn't be done. The hot water around here is also not connected. What I may do is just run this pipe up. Oh no, that's actually ran that way already. We'll run that to there. That one's connected, and these ones are connected to that section. So they're all done, and I assume that this one also requires a radiator, which I'm going to place there and there, just the opposite of where the other ones are, because we know the pipe work goes through it anyway. So, there you are. We have Stephen Donnelly at 2% for the state execution allowance, and Aston Lovegrove at 7%, so we could uh, process them through the system if we desired, but you know what? I'm not convinced we do just yet. Is that going to reach there? Yeah, they're just waiting for the rest of it. But basically, that is the facility completed. There may be the odd little bit that we need to finesse, but basically that's it done. That was the, ori the original idea was to have a island facility starting off with high risk and then connecting up different islands with ferries, which we have struggled on and managed to use, and <laughs> in spite of all the issues we've had and the de the desire and the need uh, to to really change them up to either bridges or the standard walkways, we've managed to struggle on and keep the ferries and have the transfer stuff going. So if you act up, you go up to Supermax, Legendary Prisoners sort of stuff, Obviously, you have Death Row, separate island, no real transfer thing, but it's sort of on the same sort of level as that. Same sort of theme. And then we've also now got a low and medium risk island. So we have transfers between the islands. We've got grading across the board. 191 for minimum, 165 for medium, 111 for max sec, and 65 for Supermax. And you don't get a grading for Death Row. We have helicopters. We have logistical customizations. We have boat docks. Ferry docks. Different programs running at all levels. Heating, weather and temperature. Probably a fire by the sound of it. One of our more charismatic inmates has become something of a religious... Evangelist. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. As I said, we've got different programs running. We've got work. We've got, obviously, the need to transfer. Gymnasium. Some of the new stuff. Basically, apart from Psych Ward and other outsider challenges, we've pretty much got as much as we could possibly fit into this, into this build. It's taken... Almost 21 and a half hours to do. And obviously, what episode's this? Mid-30s? Yeah. It's been a journey. And there's also loads of concrete just lying around the place. As I said, there's probably some fettling to do. Changing a couple of things up. But basically, we're done. It is running. It is experiencing some violence over here because it always does. Overall then, on review and reflection, oh, come on. <laughs> Quite happy. Obviously, we've experienced some bugs and some issues and whatnot, especially at the start of the series. It's not always been a smooth ride. But we got there in the end. That's been our island bound facility, originally starting as this, moving up to the top, max sec, over to this side, death row, all connected up with the boat docks, and then obviously helipads, then over to the left hand side for all the extra amenities, 
for the transfer. We've done transfers. We've got everything set up logistic wise. Custom arrivals for the helipads and the docks. Yeah. Pretty good. It's been an interesting journey. Not always been smooth, but destination's been worth it. We've got there. So, I think we will leave it there. We could continue playing, but at the end of the day, it's up and running. It is pretty much sorted. All, all, all we will see is more prisoners coming in, more prisoners transferring over. Obviously, we're still not at capacity for our minimum. And we're actually, by the look of it, one prisoner can't be assigned to a cell. I'm not too sure why. But yeah, we are at a point now where it is just managing it. The odd little, like you say, change here and there. Altering of doors or fettling, putting a couple extra bits of flooring in. But basically it's done. And there we are. So we are going to leave it there. Because the last couple of episodes we did focus on a lot of the transfer stuff. So we don't want to go over all ground. Let us put that press in. Click. Just to make sure that it is built. We will remove all planning. And there we go. We will call it there. That has been a little bit, more than a little bit, of Prison Architect. Very happy with what we've accomplished. Hope you have enjoyed it. I assume if you're listening to this, then you have. And it has been an interesting build. Um, we will probably do a extreme testing initiative and an escape attempt, but we'll see how we get on with those. Either way, hope you have enjoyed this episode and the series as a whole. If you have any suggestions for any additional changes that maybe would you think would benefit the design or anything we need to alter, chop, change, etc., that maybe we want to revisit at some point then let us know if you have any ideas also for any new series and what we should focus on there then by all means let us know as well as always comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings